my name is Camille Woods and I work with the NASA Airborne Data Management Group for the Earth Science Data Systems Program. Climate change phenomena in the Earth system are complicated, dynamic, and can occur over both short and long periods. Therefore, NASA uses more than satellites to keep a watchful eye on events as they happen. Fun fact, did you know that for over 50 years, NASA has flown various aircraft with sensors to collect airborne data? It is these data that support investigations to answer detailed science questions that can't be answered using just satellite data. They provide information collected over short periods of time and in specific regions of study. We call these activities field campaigns or campaigns for short because the scientists and sensors are, well, in the field to do their research. These campaigns are coupled with data collected from instruments placed on the Earth's surface or the ocean, called ground sensors, to reveal a more detailed look into how the atmosphere, biosphere, cryosphere, geosphere, and or hydrosphere interact. So, what's so special about airborne data, you ask? Aircraft fly at different heights above the surface of the Earth, called altitude. They operate in the troposphere, which is the part of the atmosphere that we live in, and in the stratosphere, the next layer of atmosphere. The target altitude of a campaign's flight depends upon the location and properties of the data that need to be collected. Once in flight, scientists operate instruments on the aircraft to collect airborne data in one of two ways. The first way being using remote sensing, which uses properties of light to make measurements without coming into direct contact with the phenomena being measured. For example, measuring the greenness of crops from 2,000 meters in the air. The second way being to collect these data, scientists use what is called in situ, or a fancy word meaning in place in which the sensor directly measures what is in the atmosphere at a given time and location, represented by measurements of latitude, longitude, and altitude. This type of in-place measurement is used to study atmospheric gas quantities like that for carbon dioxide, ozone, and sulfur dioxide. Hi, my name is Deborah Smith and I lead the Airborne Data Management Group within NASA Earth Science Data Systems. Our challenge is called Apps Take Flight, making the most of NASA's airborne data. In this challenge, we'd like you to make use of some of the data from one of the suggested airborne campaigns to prototype an application that educates the public about Earth's changing climate. Designers may choose from five campaigns to use in their space app design. It is important to note that these campaigns cover different geographic areas. Delta X has data from the Mississippi River Delta. Olympics took place in the Pacific Northwest. Above collected measurements in Alaska and Western Canada. Fire XAQ was in the continental United States and names took place in the North Atlantic Ocean. While the data from these campaigns were collected to answer specific detailed science questions, they can also be used to explore other phenomena in the same regions. Challenge teams are encouraged to combine the campaign data with data from other NASA or authoritative data sources to design a new study that connects these data with a different climate change application. In short, designers should meet this challenge with creativity, knowledge, and passion. Follow the general guidelines in the Space App Challenge. Review and become familiar with the five campaigns that we've selected for this challenge, including their target regions and science goals. Identify a different climate change issue or phenomena that affects the same geographic area of the campaign study area. Research the phenomena as well as the effects of this issue on those living in the region define the needs and problems related to the phenomena, select the science variables from the campaign data that are most appropriate for studying the new climate change issue, brainstorm and identify other complementary data 
that will be useful to communicate the climate change issue and explore your ideas to identify possible solutions to problems that can be addressed by an app with the goal of educating the public about the phenomena. Select a solution and prototype your new application, but most importantly, have fun. Examples include, but are certainly not limited to the following. For designers living in the New Orleans area of Louisiana and experiencing flooding from more frequent and stronger storms, how can the data from Delta X and other land use, flood, or precipitation data help to explain the increased flood risk of the changing climate? Would you sell your Delta home or buy flood insurance? If designers grow apples in the state of Washington, how can snow and precipitation data from Olympex, along with other weather, water table, or agricultural data for Washington State, describe the relationship between weather patterns and apple crop yields? Does more snow mean more apples? Not sure where to start? Locate the description page to find resources, such as the Catalog of Archives Suborbital Earth Science Investigations or Casey, where you can begin your exploration of the five campaigns, as well as NASA Earth Data Search, where you can jump right into the campaign data products. If you need more help, there are additional resources listed on the description page, and you most certainly can ask questions. We look forward to receiving your designs. Good luck.